So let's give you a quick overview of 2.3 and the changes on the Samsung Galaxy Tab with 2.33. New startup sound, that's important. <laughs> but anyway, um, I've got a list of stuff that I've been um, that I've noticed over the last 12-15 hours as I've been playing with the device. And let's just go through those. So no real change in startup speed, no noticeable difference there on, on the boot I just did. And you can, can see I've already optimized uh, the home screens here for my usage. Um, this is a, it's quite interesting because a lot of people complain, moan about upgrades on Android devices. What's happened here is Samsung have, have used 2.3 and the features that are really in 2.3, a lot of them already appeared in 2.2 uh, for Samsung for example their cut and paste uh, feature some of the features of 2.3 here have been taken out like uh, SIP voice over IP capability I can't find that anywhere in the in the system but there are a couple of uh, changes we need to talk about first of all uh, transitions um, that uh, is quite important to some and um, Although this is just UI demos, what is being shown here is I think the usage of the new uh, APIs for uh, touch and um, yeah touch responsiveness, and that actually does appear in some apps I found as well. And in fact, um, using some apps that don't use the optimized um, features for enhancing enhancing touch responsiveness. Uh, show up now for example Twitter that I use here uh, the scroll on that is not very good but the scroll on the browser is, is super smooth now let's go a uh, few uh, through other notes I've made um, in terms of apps everything's much the same there's uh, one new app here sketch memo which um, might be useful to, to some of you if you want to write some notes um, on a capacitive screen, I don't like it. Uh, what else have we got? Pretty much the same all the way through. Social Hub appeared in the latest firmware upgrade through Keys anyway on 2.2. Samsung Apps is still there. Pulse is a new app uh, that's pre installed. Uh, personally, not a fan because I like to link everything to Google Reader and Pulse doesn't allow you to do it all in one, one go. Uh, Feedly is probably a better option there, but Google Reader is. For glancing through tons of RSS feeds is, is probably the fastest anyway. Some redesigned uh, icons, but the apps underneath are pretty much the same. Music Hub, for instance, is the same here in Germany using the digit 7 Digital uh, service. Um, there's no new wallpapers or themes. Themes was something in 2.3. Themes doesn't appear on this 2.3 implementation. Uh, stability, I did have one crash when I was messing around with, um, what app was it? Um, I can't remember, I had, oh yeah, Need for Speed, I was playing Need for Speed and then I came out and I went to, I think, listen to some music and it crashed the UI, didn't, didn't do a full reboot, crashed the UI and rebooted the UI. Um, but, uh, stability of the Wi-Fi here. Uh, is much better than it was before. I used to get Wi-Fi dropouts here on my um, on my uh, Wi-Fi router here, which is a uh, Linksys a WRTG54, the classic. That doesn't uh, occur anymore, so I'm very pleased about that. Uh, in terms of web, there's no real massive speed improvements that you'll see. Um, if we go to news and pick a random website, Let's uh, take the first one on Google News, and it's a German website. I can show you one or two things on this, maybe. Um, very small amount of checkerboard backfill. Sometimes you might have seen that on that, uh, but it's very quick. Um, transitions seem to be a little bit smoother. As I said, this is one of the apps that's obviously uh, optimized for uh, smoother transitions. And there's the checkerboard thing just just appearing as as I scrolled at that zoom level. Let's see if I can do that again. Yeah, little tiny, little, there it is, checkerboard backfill, but you could hardly notice it. Uh, and there it was again. That could be just the CPU issue now, not keeping up with uh, the smoother transitions, I don't know. 
uh, text uh, select is as it was uh, before I believe in the browser so um, that's uh, no problem there um, so I didn't notice any real speed improvements in the browser just some transition improvements there may be measurable speed improvements but it's not something you're going to notice at all really uh, a couple of modified indicator icons here the battery icon Wi-Fi and um, GSM signal or in this case uh, UMTS signal is are slightly different and when you go to the battery meter now you get this nice graph that you see uh, in other 2.3 devices which is really helpful uh, the only thing I'll say about this is that the um, per subsystem figures are all incorrect um, it only seems to show the Android system correctly the device idle cell standby Wi-Fi display are all showing showing 2% there's a bug there uh, which is kind of annoying because that breakdown is uh, sometimes quite useful especially display I mean, that in theory should be up to about 50% looking at the amount of time I use the device uh, but it's only showing 2% so there's a bug on that one which is uh, a little bit annoying if you're a uh, energy conservation fan I think that's uh, pretty much it I had one query about um, auto brightness and I want to see if that's working y yes after a reboot that's uh, working after the UI crash I had earlier the uh, auto brightness wasn't working and that so the one thing I think is worth mentioning about the Galaxy Tab and the 2.3 upgrade is uh, Huh, sounds pretty petty actually, but it's to do with the music app and uh, I can't demonstrate it because it requires time and uh, copyright. Um, <clears throat> Galaxy Tab 2.2 owners will know that if you run music in the background and you start using the device heavily it stutters. It was very annoying. Um, I'll be honest, I don't know if it was fixed in the latest 2.2 upgrade, upgrade. I don't think it was, but in this it's fixed. That means you can run music in the background and really load up the device. I had it loaded up fully last night with eight apps, with the active applications bar red, uh, with the UI slowing down, with keyboard input slowing down, and the music was still going fine. So it seems to be nicely protected from any CPU load. And it's one of the things that was mentioned about 2.3 is that uh, applications, application management is handled a lot better in, in 2.3. Uh, that is also supposed to impact uh, battery life as well, but I haven't seen any major, major improvements. It's got good battery life anyway. We're up to six hours Wi-Fi on in use, which is, is really fantastic for a device this, this light. Um, so don't uh, expect any major battery life uh, issues. So anyway, uh, 2.33 summary good improvements all around haven't seen any show stoppers any issues i had one ui reboot that i should mention uh, hasn't happened since then i've been using it heavily uh smooth smoother improvements uh, some improvements all around uh some things taken away from 2.3 it seems for example sip you should expect to see a wireless networking but it doesn't uh, show up um so that might uh, be a disappointment to some but anyway, nice improvement. If you see it on Keys, um, grab it. I wouldn't bother going the route through uh, side loading the firmware. Too risky probably uh, for most people. But when you get it, enjoy it. And uh, I think that's probably going to be it, isn't it, for major upgrades to the Galaxy Tab. A um, couple of million devices sold, I, I guess, at this stage in uh, May 2011. So there's potential to make a couple of million people happy with a 2.4 upgrade maybe a 3.0 upgrade but let's see at the moment I'm pretty happy with this and let's keep it uh, as stable as possible Samsung I think that's um, that's almost perfected that device let's move on to the next one this is Chippy umpcportal.com carrypad.com uh, Galaxy Tab 2.3 upgrade May 2011 thanks for watching